All right, guys, good morning and welcome to the Sports Buffet on Elegwete TV Radio. My name is Idafi Matthias. So you love to call me the Elegwete on a Sports. It's a lovely time to be alive, like I always say. Celebrate the gift of life, appreciate it, and use it to make positive impact on the universe that you live in, but at the same time, most especially on humanity. Uh, I like to start off the show this morning and, uh, you know, be thankful for those who are on my side. Because sometimes we forget those that are on your side, that we always talk about those that are against us, those that are fighting us, those that are trying to pull us down. But meanwhile, uh, somehow, meanwhile, you know, some people are rooting for you, are wishing you were, are banking on you, are hoping that you succeed, praying every day that you succeed, giving you all the push. But you're there focusing on those that are against you. Sometimes you don't even know anybody, but you're just imagining that people are against you. Today, I raise a glass to those who are always supporting me, those who are always pushing me, those who always believe that, oh, this Edafi brand would work, this celebrity thing that is pushing would work. Thank you very much for being there for me. Uh, without you guys, I don't sure that there will be energy. There can be a beautiful car, but imagine there is no fuel, there is no electricity, there is no gas, right? The car will not move. It will just be beautiful nonsense, beautiful pie. So you guys are the four. You guys are the the wings, the wing beneath my wings that makes it easy for me to fly and soar and, and go high as, I, as I, I am going now and can even go higher than that, you know, because of you guys. And I want to say thank you and really appreciate you guys for it all. And thank you to Mrs. Edafi too. Mrs. Edafi for always for trying uh, to, you know, uh, <laughs> hey, God, uh, uh, for trying so much to try to turn this Paco, Paco ghetto boy, eh, <laughs> into a jabota. Is it not too late? Like, I'm 45. You want to turn this fortified ghetto boy into a jabota. Well, I go to drink the tea. I mean, tea with milk and cinnamon and turmeric and what's he, what's he happen? All this one, not be a, to be very honest, not be a go. Uh, guys, muna. but now, you know, nothing like bush, now bush, they give me, but hey, you know, love makes you accept anything. So if I not be shit, just accept and it's love. Love. Okay, let's talk sports. Let's talk football. Let's talk football. Wait a minute. You know, some time ago, I came here and I opened this, my gutter mat, and I said that, uh, Copama knows how you play ball. I was wrong. Hands up in the air. Say it the way it is. Sh walk the walk of shame. Shame on you, Esel Ganei Dafi, Elegbeta Wonder Sports. You are wrong. I was wrong. I was wrong. But my comment then was predicated on the, oh, Copama is world class. He deserved to be player of the season. Ah, come on. Ta. Ta. Doesn't deserve to be player of the season, but it, it's not wrong if you get mentioned in that conversation. It's not wrong. Not just because he scored four against a discombobulated, overly treated, annihilated everything, but just the fact that, I mean, is that calm? Is that cool? I mean, look at how he executed that assist from, um, what's the goalkeeper of, uh, the England goalkeeper now, the goalkeeper of uh, Everton, what's that his name again? Oh, God. Jordan Pickford, yes. When Pickford laid it, you know, he said, that prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemy. That's how Jordan Pickford prepared the table. First of all, ran away from the goal area and prepared the table. He laid it on the plate. And Kopama said, Thank you, sir. God bless you. Yes, because I will be like the tree that is planted by the rivers of waters. Rivers. Now, now what did they day before? People write Bible sometimes. Both slap them by the rivers of water. Rivers of what now? Rivers of sodas. Ah. And they look the ball. So, yes, you might say there's no goalkeeper there, but it still take a lot of skill. And this is a pressure cooker. This is a season that I've been very, very tough. It's a very, very difficult season. And then he looked that ball like a tennis player, like it was a Novak Djokovic, like it was a Roger Federer, or was that that, 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 that Muslim man from Spain? Like it was Rafael Nadal. Rafael Nadal, okay? And, and somehow, uh, 
somebody played a penalty that is worse than the Terry Henry and uh, Robbie Pires penalty. Okay, somebody played the penalty in Spain. But hey, let's uh, let's keep it going. So Kopama, for me, is good. But now that brings me to the question of the day. Does that now nah, not brother Shaggy, but the, the question of the day? This performance by Chelsea, the, the way Chelsea played yesterday, scoring against a, 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 a and everything that they deducted a lot of points from, and they, they they are heartbroken, they are shattered, they are ruined. Let me use that word now. Uh, six zero, yeah, six zero. That's a tennis score line. When they beat you six zero, that's a you're, a you're no longer a football club, you're a tennis club. But they are still at least they are not they are not. Let's try and understand. They are not. Uh, how do I explain it? Uh, they are not relegated yet. They are not in the releg. They are near it. They are near it, but they are not in the relegation zone. You know how they say that uh, England, you must get forty points to survive relegation. This season, some people go survive relegation without even getting close to that forty. The, the way they go, so. Some people might survive relegation by not getting close to 40. By not getting that 40 point. But hey, let's see how it is anyway. So, now, does this... Chelsea is a night. Yeah, for the seven points. Hey, yeah, seven points of relegation zone. The topic I use that is a relegation zone. Now, does this... All of a sudden, there's a last-minute conversation around uh, Chelsea making it into Europe. Even if it is just to go conference. Go and have conference. Go and have European conference. They say Chelsea can make it into Europe. And I'm sitting where I am. I'm like, no, you know, but this team is coming together. Uh, Pochettino might not get sacked, but to qualify for Europe would even, even be good for Chelsea in the first place to qualify for Europe. Or they should use next season to, to just, you know, put themselves in a place uh, where they cannot bond together, get a few more players. I mean, look at Chelsea's next, next set of games first. Chelsea play Man City next. Can this Chelsea, on Saturday, they play, they play Man City. After that, on Tuesday, they will play Arsenal. And then they will play Aston Villa. Then they will play Tottenham Hotspur. Look at this fixtures. Well, oh, the remaining two, last two fixtures, men, they can win. There are four fixtures here that Chelsea potentially might not be able to win. Yes. Yes. Chelsea play Ch uh, Man City next in the semi-finals of the FA Cup. Just in case you don't know. That's, so that's not a league fixtures. That's in the the, the 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 FA Cup. In the semi-finals of the FA Cup on Saturday evening, right? Then after that, in the league on Tuesday, which is to me very, very close anyway, but hey, it is what it is. Um, it is what it is. Now, on Tuesday, they play Arsenal. At the Emirates, where Emirates is not like it's just a fortress. Aston Villa went there and won 2-0. Then on Saturday, immediately thereafter, they play against Chelsea. I mean Aston Villa, this Arsenal conqueror, and a team that has been conquering people in the top top six. Where Chelsea are not there, but they can still look there with that eye of top six because they are top top side before uh, hey, yesterday's top side. Now after that, they play against Tottenham Hotspur, and then they will not have it easy, just like. All that Chelsea needs to do to the end of the season, apart from the game, the Man City game, every other game they play happens in London. Nottingham Forest are not a London team, more. okay? But Arsenal, Sports, Villa, Villa is in Birmingham, right? Birmingham, where's Birmingham? Where's London? Uh, the same, I beg. And then Chelsea play West Ham. I mean, no, nothing can be more London than that. Not London, two not London teams are in the cards. How? Is it that somebody is bringing the conversation that Chelsea will make Europe necessary? Can they? That's one. Now, let's talk about Arsenal a bit, okay? Let's come back to Arsenal. We talked about them yesterday, but let's talk about them again. You know, some people, uh, if you watch AFTV, if your preferred destination for... Hey, oh dear, Igalo. Igalo, don't they disturb me now. Igalo, calm down. Uh, I'm coming back to you, okay? I, I, I'll talk to you later. Don't worry. Yeah. This is Galo Sefe. I don't understand. You're listening to me live and then you're chatting. What do you want me to do? I'll, I'll give slap. Uh, or I'll give slap. More yourself. I laugh. Okay, so so let's come back. Let's come back to let's come back to the show. Some people are saying that Arsenal's title chance is dead. They cannot even they, they are like they are they are they are off, blah 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 blah. I'm not trying to I mean I wasn't one of those who actually believed that Arsenal was going to win the title. But if for a team that have not lost any game in 2024, 
right, in the Premier League. To lose one game, and then all of a sudden the fans are going berserk, are going crazy, are, are acting up. Do you really think that those people are really Arsenal fans? You know, I'm just, I'm just saying. So, so look at Arsenal's next set of games. Uh, tomorrow, Arsenal play Bayern Munich at, uh, in Germany, and then they come back and they travel to Wolves away, and then after that they will host Chelsea, and then uh, they will go to Tottenham. Very stone throw, noise makers, useless people. They will go play Tottenham Hotspur, and then after that they play Bournemouth, then they play Man United, and then they end the season with Everton. It, I mean, it's in their hands. They win all this game. I know that somewhere, somewhere along the line, Man City might, might drop points. And I, I still think that there are four points that does not belong to Man City in all of their fixtures. I think so. There are four points that does not belong to them. Maybe five. Okay, it could be one loss and one draw, or it could be two draws. But there are four points, four or five points that are not Man City's point of all the remaining games that they have this season. And I agree. For those of you who keep sending me messages reminding me that the remaining fixtures for, for Man City are so easy, they can win it with their reserve side. Okay, I'm not going to argue, go into that kind of argument with you people right now. You want to put me in a place where I start arguing unnecessarily. No, I'm not. I'm not going to argue that argument. But then, tomorrow, Man City play Real Madrid. And after Real Madrid, they rise up against Chelsea on Saturday in the FA Cup semi-finals. After that, they play Brighton. You see that Brighton game? And that's not an easy one. Then they go to uh, uh, Nottingham Forest. They go into the forest to go and fight Amadioha. <laughs> hey, Ikuku, uh, you do what you're supposed to do. Ikuku, you remember what you did to Arsenal last season when everybody's, ah, oh, that we win it. I won't go do. Uh, what's it called? Uh, Tawa Oni, I'll call him later. Uh, you will do what you, you will do the needful. Then they go home and host Wolves. You see, these Wolves used to be Man City's boogie team, but not now. Not now. No, 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 no. These Wolves right now. They are not wolves. They are pussycat, pussycat, pussycat. Where have you been? They are not. There's nothing wolves about it. They are not even bingo. They are not in kita. They are just pussycat. And then they end the season with Fulham. So, of all these fixtures, there is the Chelsea game. Hey, <laughs> God of heaven. Never thought that I would be banking on Chelsea to beat Man City or to draw with them. There's the Chelsea game. Then there is the Brighton game. That does look like something is about to happen. Something can happen. And then... The Chelsea game is FA Cup. So, now, how does that play into the league fixture? Somebody would ask me. Let me tell you how it plays into the league fixture. Let's say Real Madrid beat Man City. Uh, let's say that. And then, like, uh, Atlanta beat Liverpool. And then their next game was against Crystal Palace. And then Chelsea now knocked them out of the FA Cup. Okay? Again, that put Chelsea's season in good stead. That's how they will make it into Europe. Okay, because they are now hoping that they go on and win the FA Cup. And even if they win the FA Cup, it means that Pochettino have had a successful season, but it's still a bad coach as far as I'm concerned. Say that for thank you. Now, with that slow guard situation, Man City would either be angry or be depressed. Right? They'd not come back and face the league, and Brighton might just take them out like a sniper. And then again, they go to uh, what's it that they call them? They go to the forest, go and deal with uh, Amadioha and Ikuku. And then Ikuku will take them out again, hopefully. Hey, Jesus Christ, see me. See me. Hey. And then there's that Tottenham game that everybody's forgetting that they will go to White Hart Lane. And you know, Tottenham is also a boogie team to them. So there is the Brighton game, there's the Tottenham game, there is also plus or minus the Wolves or the Forest game. One of those two can bring a drop. So, you see, we're pressing calculator now. We're not like topical Nigerians. So, you look at it and you say to yourself, Man City are actually not home and dry. They are not completely home and dry. Then, for Man City, they already have tentative fixtures for preseason against Celtic, against Milan, FC Barcelona, and Chelsea. You see people with the plan. Here in our country, they give you press release and they give order for matches not to be played. And when you talk, they'll call you in the middle of your show and try to threaten you. Good day. Good day. Okay. Let's come back. Let's come back to the discussion. Where are you guys? See, more than the comment too. Now, the comment section, they made it to the suite too. There's no comment section. I'm just a guy who's blabbing here. 22 people viewing, nine like. I don't understand. I know, like, I'm not understanding. See, tomorrow, eh? Tomorrow, I will carry live native fowl. I go put white shock for my eye here. Eh? I go tie red pieces for my head. I eat a lot red pieces. I'll put carries and Jesus Christ. But Babala will say they don't they don't have good guesses. 
Do you need all those dirty smelly things to show say you get power? Does does evil power require you to be dirty and smelly? Because I don't understand. Well, well, that's a different different case. I'm gonna click the like button. I'm not gonna do all those things I talk just now. I just empty threats. I'm not gonna do them. I'm not gonna fit. Talking about life power. Let's go, let's talk about for once. Let's break away from this. See, there is a guy called Henry Morrow. He's always here on this comment section. He's like the class monitor. He's always here commenting. See, you know, when I was growing up, eh, my greatest dream was to have a business. Uh, no, people don't know this, though. There were three, three major business in my head. Three major business. I don't know if you guys are like me. If there's anybody out there who's watching this video now live or who watch it later who have dreams like me. Those of us who used to say our uncles are very wicked, our uncles, and then they help people. We don't become uncle now. But I don't think I have any niece or nephew or anybody who will any help, Shaq. I don't, I don't think so uh but 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 let's let's come let's come to this conversation i'm going somewhere with this you see that henry morrow and his wife there's something about the two of them that i jealous but i'm not hating them because they're not oppressing me with it first of all i love what they do because part of my my shadow dream eh, my my step that used to walk offshore and that's why i never want to walk offshore because i just feel like offshore, people that, that walk offshore are useless people they're not they they they, they are like, like people that win lottery they 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 never did successful they're useless people my stepdad uh the late father of um the comedian uh godons double spanner yeah the best the, the two of their best of friends they are five and six is dead now and then there's a guy called last kubo there's a guy guy, guy called Akudi. all these guys god uh they they sure they even form a, a, a club a an association called assurance progress like assurance progress assurance progressive club of nigeria they were all new school and mandemot and uh you know all those offshore people people where they go offshore with the crane operators fitters welders you know this these lagos based people and born in the abroad people all this is why they talk now on i know now yesterday i was i was explaining something to me Sister Daffy, and i was telling her that listen babe environment define and determines how you seal the world take for instance if you're born in lagos Bank work is an ultimate job. If you're born in worry, if they work for bank, now Mumu work with that. Nobody send you and your bank work. A banker in worry na fool. Now Mumu. A banker in Lagos na big boy. I'm going somewhere. A riga, not a riga, a riga or a scaffolder in Lagos na bricklayer work. Na pompon work. But a riga and a scaffolder in worry. Who biggest boy he go snatch all your babe for your hand like he go clear your doubt. Uh, a filter. I mean, some of you guys, the, the word filter, the only one and one to filter rice. Nothing again. A filter and a welder. Jesus Christ, that one are the bigger, the ultimate, the dango tree in worry. But if you're in Lagos and you say you're a filter, you're a welder, like, oh, you're not in the northern part of Nigeria. That na mumu work. I'm going somewhere with this conversation. So when I was growing up. I had three dreams, three, three clear dreams. One was to become a mechanic. Now, but not this type of mechanic, this roadside, uh, Kamaru or uh, 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 Usman or Jide or Larondo kind of mechanic. I'm talking garage, as you guys say it in America, only in a garage, like you know, top notch, pay people's ride, upgrade people's car. But I wanted a family business, a business where my wife is involved. Maybe my wife will be doing the accounting, the paperwork. I will be doing the, the designing, bringing in the customers, and then my children will grow into it, and they will become part of it. Like, that's that's my dream. It still is my dream to today anyway. Then there is another dream that I have, food business, mobile food truck. I, I love to cook. If you know me very well, I freaking love to cook. Like, I love to cook. I've got skills in the kitchen better than the skills of talking sports, right? And then thirdly, thirdly, the one that, I mean, I would always is to have a bookshop. So I used to have a bookshop in Marina, in Lagos, Marina. And I ran that for four years and I got tired because the shop today, they'll come and stress you, Lagos, you know, Lagos and taxation and all those stress. And then sometimes rain will just fall, one place will leak and all the book will get wet and all that. So I jettisoned that business. That's why everywhere I go, I have a book. There's a library. My car is filled with books, you know, like that. I'm just, I'm just giving you that actual example. So I have this friend. His name is Henry Moru. He's in the comment section here. Very useless, I would boy like this. Very crazy idiot. I go beat him. I go, no. 
Every single day, this guy would torment me with food, whether it's roasted body, but he does it well anyway. Whether it's uh, chicken or turkey or fish. That's where it used to be at. Like, and I didn't bother because if you remember, this company, this business started with one show called Sports as the Art. So I really didn't bother. It was okay. Then when I get past that, these days, he you now added asun, dog meat, goat meat, chicken meat, snake meat, uh, spider meat, octopus meat. They use it till they do concussion and the rest. Even lion meat. Recently, I heard he, he did lion special and the rest. So if you have events and anyone you want, you want to do, you can call him. I'm not, I'm not having a problem. But the way Amana is putting it in my face and even when I'm thinking of fasting, it's not like I'm a fasting guy. He just threw it all in my face. You people should help me warn him. That one day, I will call the police or the court or lawyers to, to, to sue him. Because you know in Nigeria today, now everything, you can be sued for anything. You can tweet something, you can be sued. You can say anything, you can be sued. You can post any picture, you can be sued. I'm just telling you people up front. So that when the case come up for court, uh, you post, you wouldn't say, I didn't tell Luna, I didn't take permission from Luna. But to make him have money to pay his lawyer, Make one of the patronizer right now. Degree, degree. That's the people that I'm talking about. Make one of the patronizer right now because he needs money for the court case that is coming. Let's come back to uh, talking football. So, Chelsea beat Everton yes, last night since goes to nothing. And then there's this talk of, okay, the resurgence of Chelsea means that they can make it to Europe. They will beat Man City in the FA Cup on Saturday. And then they will go on to the finals and beat whoever. Whoever is in front of them, whether it's Man United, they don't care. They will beat them and then they'll qualify for Europe. Well, well it does look like, you know, you know, you know, it's a straight cut. After all, that's how... Um, what's it called? Ateta won the FA Cup, they beat Man City and they beat Chelsea, and then they won the FA Cup, even though with a very, very bad team. How, who told you that uh, Pochettino cannot do it after Pochettino and Ateta were teammates at Paris Saint Germain sometime in the past? So it's, it's something that they can copy each other and do, right? Good. So, me, I want to hear your take. You're looking at this Chelsea team now that they are coming together, injuries have disappeared, everything is looking good. I wish there is pressure so much away here to come in in the comment section and give me some statistical innuendos why that can happen, some, some, some cadence of statistical analysis why that can happen. Having said that, you, my audience, 30 people, 19 like, well, don't try, don't try to take them to 19 like. You people are my audience. You people are the congregation and the church say hi. Okay. Do you think that there is any pathway where Chelsea ends up with this type of horrible season and still playing European football next season? Remember, this is one billion pounds FC we're talking about here. This is Chelsea, one billion pounds. One, one, B, one, one, B, one, one, B. That's Chelsea we're talking about here. That's the team we're talking about here. So tell me in the comment section, does Chelsea have it in them to find their way to go into Europe next season? Or one billion plus whatever they would spend in the next window uh, would be enough for them to just play only domestic football, local competition. Well, what your take is, is what I want to know. Now, let's also move to not London and see Arsenal. Arsenal didn't start the season with the hope of making winning the league title. Let's be very honest. Last season looked like they were going to win it. Then they bottled it. Coca-Cola, but Nigerian bottling company, London bottling company. They bottled it completely. Okay. But that's no problem. It's Arsenal. Bottling is not new to us. We bottled things for a living. Then this season started, looked like okay, the signings, Kai Hava, so they shouldn't have gotten Kai Hava, they should have got a striker, blah blah blah. The team was not, you know, was not there. Even up to December, they were factoring to deceive. Then they went to the Arabian Peninsula of Dubai. And then they came back with Arabian Juju. Yes, they came back with Arabian Juju. Even uh, Bukayo Saka said he does not know what happened in Dubai, but they were just eating and putting leg in water. That water is like the pool of Bethesda. Okay? They put leg in that water and something happened to their legs. Unfortunately, there were two players who didn't go on that trip, Zinchenko and Gabriel Jesus. And since they came back, they have gist it. Okay? Now, but let's not talk about them gisting it. Now they, 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 they play the whole of 2024. They, they only drop points against Man City until they played against Aston Villa. Aston Villa also beat them in 2023. Now, Aston Villa is the third most successful team to go to the Emirates. Remember, first ever game played at the Emirates, first ever competitive game, Arsenal, Aston Villa. That game that Gibato Silva equalized. Remember that game? Okay, yes. So this Emirates is not a you know challenging place for, for them to go, but that's, a, that's by the wayside. Now, all of a sudden, Arsenal went from also run, they might not even make the top four, then they are there in the race, then they got into the title race. Just a few weeks ago, people said, oh, Arsenal are not there. You say Liverpool, Man City, and then Arsenal thought. 
Then all of a sudden, Arsenal were sitting on top of the league, league table and everybody raised their hope, especially the AFTV guys. Raise this hope. Arsenal is going to be champion. They are going to win it. This is the season. Is this the season? But they know. No, 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 no. Two miracles does not happen at it once. That's why when Jesus healed the man with paralysis for 37 years, I mean 39 years, by the pull of Bethesda, there were other sick people there. There was no record of him healing the other people. Even Jesus said he performed two miracles at it once. So one miracle have already happened this season. That's the miracle of Bayern never cruising, not cruising, right? And doing it in grand style. Do you think there is still oil in the jar to manufacture healing? But let's not forget that even a dead man in the Bible, according to the Bible story, performed a miracle. When the dry bones of prophet Elisha was thrown into the cave of the dead, his bone fell on somebody who was dead. And immediately that person came to life. In the Bible, not be me talking about. That's the for Bible. And uh, theologians, escopolitan uh, people, you know, esoteric people would tell you that uh, because Elijah told Elisha that double portion. If you see me go, you will perform double portion. And uh, it was um, uh, what's it called? Eight miracles. Elijah did eight miracles, and Elisha did sixteen miracles. I think I think that's that's how it was explained. That's how it was explained. I don't know if I'm right or wrong, but that's how it was explained. So it's up to you to to go read your Bible properly and do it. So now. Is there still, is there any more rooms for me in those jeans? Do you like it? Okay. So, for Chelsea, is there room in European competition for them to go in? For Arsenal, is there any more rooms for me? Is there room for Arsenal to still come back into the title race? And Liverpool as well. What would the grand finale be for Jurgen Club? I think that there is a setup here. There is a set of false confidence for Man City, Arsenal out of it, Liverpool out of it, but the catapult effect is going to happen. You know what the catapult effect is? Is that you have to take long step backward to go forward and kick Goliath. So, this is Liverpool on the sling. Drawn back by Crystal Palace. Pew! Pss! And they will release them and they will go forth and manifest as champion. It could be Liverpool. It could be Arsenal. Two stone to kill one bed this time. Normally, we say use one stone to kill two bed. This time, it is two stone. Arsenal and Liverpool to kill Man City. Let's see how it goes. But what is your own position in this conversation? In this diatribe, in this dialogue, in this banter, in this whatever angle you want to see it from? And if you have to describe... The jogging club era. I mean, I have 30 minutes to do all this talking. In the jogging club era, if you want to, if you have to describe the jogging club eight years plus era in your own words, when you don't have to be Liverpool fan, you don't have to like Liverpool, you are a football person, so you have your own words. If you have to describe the jogging club era in your own words, how would you describe it? Liverpool, Jurgen clubs, Liverpool in your own world. So in Liverpool, for those of you who don't know, they've had great managers, uh, Giradolia, Phil Thompson, uh, Rafael Benitez, and all so on and so forth. Then Jurgen Club, he came in, gang gang pressing, gang 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 gang. For new people who follow football, like oh, Jurgen Club did all the miracles. We've seen all this before. We've seen Giradolia come in and won four titles straight, secondary titles anyway. We've also seen Rafael Benitez did the impossible in Istanbul. I think that that's one of the greatest nights of football. That's one of the greatest nights of football, whether you like it or not. And now we've also seen Jurgen Klopp come in, fail and succeed. Fail in the Champions League finals, fail in the UEFA Cup finals, uh, fail in some finals, but also won everything. This won everything like 1-1-1-1-1-1-1. One, 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 one. I don't know. I've, I've never won the UEFA Cup. You have a Europa Cup. I'm not sure, but they are in it this season or just that Atlanta say, uh, no, you're going to stop. Hey, hold it. Stop that break dance. I hold it. Bang, 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 bang. Hey, stop. Dance Atlanta. Stop that reggae. Yes. Yeah, so, so what do you, how do you describe the Jurgen Club era in Liverpool? What am I really doing today? Am I having fun or just playing around? All of them are the same. Well, we got to see. <laughs> uh, that is good. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Ibrahim, you're good. 
Yeah, Ibrahim, it's don't worry. I'm doing the show and I'm doing other things. I'm working other things because everybody everybody wants a slice of this guy right now. That's uh, uh you know how they say too much for one, but not enough for two. Yeah, it's uh it's a line in Joe's song. One of you're too much for one. Okay, so I'm, I can't sing. I, I can't I can't sing. That's not one of the talent that I have. But like I say, uh those three jobs that I wanted to do. I, I still think that one day I would still have a I could still own a garage. You know, it's not I'm not not too old to own a garage, it just sit on the side. I always like that. Like people, my friends would drive in their car, will pimp them, change their cars, turn it around, and make it just look good. Make it just look unique and beautiful. And I have these crazy ideas that I have in my head. One day I'll do it. You know, now I'm making friends. I'm making friends, upwardly mobile friends. Some of you guys, I'll reach out to you like, guys, come, let's, you know, partner and do something. Again, let me just ask this question for the sake of asking. And you guys, if you guys have an answer to it, find an answer to it. I've always been looking for an answer to this question. Why is it that when, when we call our friends, our so-called friends, and say, let's go club, let's go drink, the answer is easy. But when we call the same friends and say, let's let's come together and do business, the answer is different. It's, it's, it's very reluctant. Like, are we quick to want to waste money, but not quick to want to make money together? What is the thing that's making it almost impossible for friends to be able to... It is easier for strangers to do business with you, put money together and do business with you, than for your friends to do business with you. But those some friends are very quick to want to drink, buy, should be come attend your party, do something. They will also travel from, do international, get visa, travel internationally for your barrier and all that. But to do business with you, it's very, 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 very rare. Very, very few exceptional cases where friends do business together. Why, why is it like that? It's just something to put in the comment section. Just, if you have an idea, if you have an answer, whatever, you know, this one, there's no wrong answer. Whatever the answer is, let me know. Hmm. Do I ever they drink the tea like Ogoro? You don't know say this is a bushman. People they sip tea, me, I they drink tea like say, I want you to take push ever go down. And they already they see, you know, now nah. you know, I don't say I need to sweat again. I told you guys that when I move, when I move, <laughs> hey, Esther was black. <laughs> when I move, establish. Yes, I told you people that when I move, what is cleaning sweat? In a good day, it's temporary struggle for the things, the glory that is to be revealed. Hey, okay, no, we, oh, 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 hey, oh, this is in Amana title. This is Machari standard. Oh, 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 Yes, I have voice. Let's start with you. I'm not going to rush it. I have 30 minutes or 28 minutes to do it. Now, tomorrow now I go rush because I need to go to school. I've not been to school since I went to Ghana. Since 6th of, of March, I've not been to my school. I miss my student. They don't send me a message. Taya. They send me a message. Tag me for pictures, videos. I'm coming. I'm coming next week Wednesday. To me, Dakolo, I'm bringing you down. Uh, Alison, my girl, I'm bringing you down. I'm bringing in. I'm coming in with the stars. I'm coming in hot. I'm coming in hot. I'm coming in hot, hot, hot. Yeah. I have always say Asana, Asana, Asana. Uh, at this point, no real comment. This team, ah, uh, you know when somebody does talk like that, it don't hurt. Don't say Leo Madi, my guy, my guy. He said, "Good morning, house. Good morning to you." Kopama and Chelsea Messiah this season, you know, if you take away Kopama, Chelsea relegate. And then he said, can Chelsea keep up this momentum in this is the issue? We have seen some great performance from the Chelsea squad this season, only to have a lackluster performance in their next match. Well, I think that they are turning a corner, but I'm just not trying to be too quick to say it because you just might say it and then they, they do what the Chelsea know, what Mauricio Pochettino's team normally know how to do is say okay they are turned the corner they're fine now they find the rhythm they find the perfect selection and then you see the next game he will just go and destroy himself with the kind of selection that he does the other one you say mathematically arsenal has still got a big chance but if they will take it it's another team okay their title chasing history is not too cool i hope they surprise me though odds are stuck against them right now and arsenal have never done anything good when the odds are stuck against them so I don't know what's going to happen, but let's keep our fingers crossed and see how this goes. Raymond Crystal, he said, Edafi, 
uh, you do well. I don't know what I do, Raymond. We may say I do well, but whatever it is, thank you very much. But if you explain, it will make me know how to do well more. Okay, uh -huh. just explain. Every umoru, the guy that I will deal with, I will so sue you. He said, bro, so what I do now, you go know. 64, 69 football, sorry, 64. I don't even want the dot five from your own football matter. 69 was a very good year. Mm, 69, summer of 69. A very bad guy. Very, very bad guy. 69 football. You play your football for a side bedroom. I'll be bedmatics football. Okay. Uh, Kopama is the man for Chelsea. Take him out and do be below on the log. And then what I say, the season is still open. Uh, either Arsenal, City, Liverpool still have a chance. Why do you say? I think Chelsea may get into European places this season. However, the only title Chelsea will win is uh, called Palmer. Okay? They are in hot form for Palmer Trophy this season. Okay. Okay. But they can still win their vehicle. But this is just, come on, this is Chelsea we're talking about. One of the best teams in the last 20, 20 something years of European football. And, uh, you, you, you can just write them off like that. Let's be very honest, okay? Let's just some respect. Put some respect to that name. Lord Mayor say, boss, please, hope I'm permitted to say Arsenal fans are full-time embarrassment. You only support your team when they are winning. When they lose a theta art and leaving the stadium before time. Yes, I agree with you. I support you saying that. Those Arsenal fans, they are shame. They are disgrace. And I, like I always say, I mean, I'm a YouTuber. And you can, YouTube, YouTube always put you on the crossroad to do what is right and to do what is wrong. And sometimes when I look at the AFTV, they have not become a representation of what Arsenal fans are, which is very, very bad anyway, which is a very, very bad position to be in. They, they, whatever it is they do now becomes what Arsenal fans are. And because of how they, they, they do that show, it's more like who would, it's a competition amongst them, the, the guys, you know, a competition of who will go viral the most with negative comment, vile, bilistic comment, and all that blood clots, all that blood, all this blood, 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 blood. So uh, that's the way it is. So there is no objectivity. So Asna can win 99 games on the bounce. And, you know, you see them jumping around, over and around, like vultures, waiting for the kill. As soon as they lose one game, oh, blah, 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 blah. And then that, you know, the thing is, we don't realize that most of the times what they put out influence people. Okay? It influences people. Let me tell you how this thing's media influences people. Before 2012, there are not too many people in Nigeria or in Lagos and beyond, apart from worry, probably, who use the words Legbere, Kola, Mukait, Mugu, you know all these things. But when I came in with the Medemede in 2012, between six months, that word became a very popular word. You understand? Then remember, uh, uh, what's this word now? A boy. I grew up in Port Harcourt. I went to school in Port Harcourt. I played football in Port Harcourt. A boy have always been a word in Portacot. Like it's like when worry will say you boy or you girl, which is normal thing for a guy, Afana, you know. But when what's that guy? What's his name? Oh, that's always using it before. That guy that smokes. What's his name now? But you know the guy that I'm talking about, it's skit makeup. When they started and they started using a boy, a boy, a boy now became 18. It's like, and then you start hearing things like. Uh, woto woto. It became a thing. We don't even know the meaning, but it became a thing. So that's how powerful media can be. So when the Arsenal fan the AFTV are doing what they are doing, they don't realize how much they create a culture. Man, that there's a good side of it, but there's also the negative side of it. A culture of people not believing that this is the new way to be a club fan. This is the new way to support a club. Just the same way the class of 92 of Manchester United have created a culture of delusioning people to believe that there is something called the Man United way. No. Every coach is supposed to have the way he plays football. And when that coach comes in, Man City was not playing the Pep Guardiola way. Pep Guardiola came in and decided to sign up players that will play his way. And he, he brings this thing in and then this is how they play. Another coach will come in one day and change the entire landscape of Man City. If he's winning, it's good. If he's not winning, then there's a problem. But hey, 
it is what it is. These people are culture definers. But again, in the movie Send of a Woman, Al Pacino, who was a blind retired colonel, said something. Make out of men. Be careful what type of men you make. Leader of men. Be careful what type of men you lead, right? You, you, you have to understand that there are consequences and there are impacts and there are influences that your actions make. A couple of years ago, I sat down with a few guys around me and we, we started doing this thing called using social media to influence conversation around Nigerian League. And at that time, it was just Facebook. There's no Twitter. There's no TikTok. Instagram, maybe it was just coming in newly. Nobody was really doing content. A camera, it was just basically to take to make picture. Nobody know how important 30 seconds can be. Nobody know how important one minute, 60 seconds can be at the time. You know, people needed 15 minutes of uh, 30 minutes of radio time to make impact. Then all these social media platform came in. I when I realized that in 30 seconds, you can create something. In short, within 20 seconds, you can say, uh, uh, Esther was broke. I was black when it was broke. And when, when money enter, establish. You understand? This, this, this change. And it became a real influence. You have to be a person that is conscious and really careful not to be influenced. So when you look at the fans, the Arsenal fans today, they forget that there was once upon a time where people support football club just because they love the club. The trophies are the icing on the cake. That's why most times when I hear people say, you've not won anything. Listen, winning is not why you support the club. You support the club through thick and thin because you love them. I don't, I don't think I want to wake up. When I hear people say, oh, uh, why don't you leave Arsenal and go and support that club? How? Who does that? It's like getting married and saying, Oh, I'm married to you because you because of the child that comes in as a woman. If you're not know beer picking, then the marriage is over. Or as a man, if I'm married to you because of the money. Once there's no money, the marriage is over. That's crazy uh, anyway, but that happened. So sometimes I look at those kind of fans like, man, this is worse than plastic. These are useless fans. They have no business being in the center. But hey, if you want to pay your ticket and walk away from your team because you're losing, well, I'm not going to wish Asna that. I'd like say, Asna, go on. 10 games without winning a match. Let's see. I mean, let's do it. Since you don't want to watch matches, let's see now. But hey, you know, Asna will never do that. Asna is a team that will always give you a run of beautiful games. Just that um, Asna is a typical example. You know, we all have one of that friends that know everything that they want to tell the babe. Like everything they want to tell the babe until the babe comes. No, it's all drama, drama, drama. Then the babe comes and then they are opening their mouth. They can't close it. They are drooling. They can't just say anything. That's Asna for you. All talk, no penetration. Yeah, let's come back to the conversation now. Uh, Arewole Ayodeji says, spot on with uh, the exposure. When I began traveling, I knew there was life outside of my comfort zone. You see uh, the world from a better place with a better perspective. Lack of infrastructure has limited us seriously. Seriously. You know, I, I, I was discussing with my wife and my children. My son turned 12 today. I mean, Michael is... That Michael that I announced his birth on Brilla FM, you know, some years ago in 2012, he's 12 years old today. And I feel very, very proud. But let me, let, I was discussing something with my wife, you know, last night, yesterday evening, and we're just watching TV and I was saying something that I say, say listen, religion, eh, whenever, whoever gets it, give you 30% of the Bible and 70% of themselves and their beliefs. A person who have high education, exposure abroad, would come and preach to you and teach you from a position of exposure and prosperity. A person who grows up in a village who's been told that there is witchcraft, there is evil, there is this, there is that, will preach God to you from a liberator's perspective and make you see everybody as your enemy. Not necessarily because you have an enemy, but because that is the psyche he was grown up on. Don't forget a man is a product of his environment. One of the things that I like to always tell people is, as you raise your children, expose them to everything. Everything. Like every, every, everything. Expose them to informations that are bigger than them that they can't even comprehend. Expose them to things, mechanics, in the, the way the world works. Expose them. Let them hear things. Let them see things. And just, just sometimes just spend money to take them out to places. Let them go and see places. Don't cage them. And then tomorrow, I, mean, I always say that to my wife. I said, growing up, eh? Places are small, and there are people watching this thing who can, can relate to this. 
places as small as Mr. Biggs. We use and take <laughs> scatter people daughters back then growing up because Mr. Biggs was like heaven. Then there was a place in Warrior Double Delight to take you go Double Delight, buy you food, ice cream, come back. The pants are already off. The bra is gone, right? You, that she's a stripper already. It doesn't matter how holy ghosted she is. I mean, it, it, it is gone. All the defense mechanisms are gone. The Holy Spirit don't run, live and cease. All the trainings don't go. And then you're not uh, elevated up to Pimos Hotel. When Pimos was, I mean, the beginning of Pimos, you take them to that room where the AC. These are children, people who grow up with that AC in their life. They don't even know. And then you now have a car to carry them. Oh, yeah, it's finished. So expose your children to see life so that nobody would use some very, very like mundane things to train them. But well, let's move on. Uh, uh, Jerry Samson say, two months to World Cup qualifier match. Still yet, no coach for Nigeria. Why? Why country? The blood of Jesus will coach us. Don't worry. When that time comes, they'll tell you, pray for Nigeria. The media officer, Femi Raji, will come out on different radio stations and say, let's pray for Nigeria. They will give us one hashtag. After all, we didn't do anything going to the Nations Cup and we'll get all the way to the finals. Come on. Is God not in Nigeria? Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. God is in Nigeria. God would, FIFA would send us a special invite even if we don't qualify. Demola Ibrahim Abiodo, he say, I think Chelsea making it to Europe depends on other teams above them and those teams are not doing well as well so there is a possibility and then he went on to say arsenal should channel their energy into champions league if they can knock out Bayern, make them leave this league because oh yeah what you say where's that 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 why is this thing running like this now? You just scroll somewhere, you just disappear. What's that? The other one say club era at Liverpool simply put would have been better if there was no pep. However, it has to be described as great for me. Lord Mayor, uh, is called Palmer not allowed to maintain this LVL for three seasons? What's that? Okay, this level. Come on at the right way, maybe we'll see what's in at the right way because not all of us be Jesu <laughs> for three seasons before we can rate him like like him as a player. But English fans don't they compare him Saka and Foden see in a best signing player of the season. Well, it's their own thing, they are they are they are free to celebrate their own. Okay, Abiadu Oluwa Damilari say Liverpool has won two. Carabao Cup, courtesy of Chelsea. Jesus Christ. That's why you not throw Chelsea into the mix of celebrating somebody. <laughs> I don't want to cry, but I don't want to worry. I don't want to cry. Hey, Adisha Lavoma say, Raskimono. Uh, God bless his soul. Uh, Lord Mayor, I say, if City escape Northern Forest and Spurs, they will win the league if it's a conditional statement. And again, my coach, Monde Sinclair, used to say, there are no ifs in football. There are no ifs in football. I don't know what that means, but he used to sound very intelligent when he says it. There are no ifs in football. It is what you do here and now. Ha, ah, man, people used to speak English. Who, My friends, there are no ifs in football. If you do this, if you do that, if you do that, no. All what we have in football is what you do here and now. Hey, they will not have a chairman where we say, like, is the most impeccable human being you've ever met in your life. If justice are okay, I mess your marker, the admirable one of hey, of Okrika, Abi Kalabari. Yeah, that man, they speak English. English, eh? He eloquent past the one of British people. You see, when I tell you, gentlemen, I God, that's the one skill that I would have loved God to give me. She does ecology. God will bless you for having the skill, but you don't know how to use it. Uh, I wouldn't. I can't say God will punish you to mimic people. Nobody. Hey, she does can mimic. They say, ladies and gentlemen, uh, yeah, the two girls, two ladies here, so I can put her. Yeah? The chicken have come home to roost. <laughs> hey, hey. As a young man, you're hearing those kind of big, big grammar. This is not now. It's not now. This was in the 90s where consider yourself 
lucky to be standing next to an ex-international, a real ex-international. Nobody is rubbish ex-international. I'm talking of real ex-international. Somebody who, like, he won the first African Cup of Nations for Nigeria. So good, they call him Chief Justice on the field. Then he has to stand next to us, stand like this, and he's talking. I say, what have you done? Have you ever played football to the point where a commentator gives you a money can? A money can. My brother, the only money can I know back in the day in a woman name. So when this man say give you a money can, say they give a money can as girlfriend, I don't know saying a guy name. Like, where have I met a ghetto boy now? I don't know saying money can a guy name. Like, now guy name I know. You know what I'm have you, have you been so good that the great legendary NSO Konko will call you? Look at the squad that I played in. Blockbuster, Chairman Chuku, Mathematical Chego Odebami. And I'm on this wing. And they call me Chief Justice because I do justice. What are you? Look at you people. What do you play? Hey, Jesus Christ, don't lose. Oh. I don't care if I see will kill you. Oh, oh, but football was sweet back in the day, Sha. Football was sweet. Football was sweet. Now be now. And hey, I, I be football rule. I'm not even football rule. You're playing nonsense. <laughs> you're playing nonsense. And you end this fat pay. L let me tell you, I was in law school when I played for the Nigeria national team. Some of you here. Uh, apart from this one, this one, this one, this one that plays like me. Worry about Namio. Call himself worry about you. Okay. I, 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 give, I give it to you. You're good. But you see, all these grown old men that have beards in their private parts that would uh, give other people's wife, get other people's wife pregnant, and you still can't play good football? Hey! Uh, uh, I don't know what's in the tech players is this, yeah? but after that talk, brother man, <laughs> we come out in the second half. You are taking four. <laughs> hey! You are taking four, especially when they tell us, you see, that right there where I'm sitting, your bag of money. Governor is there. The governor is there. You think I bring the governor here into the stadium and you are half time zero zero. You can't score. You go for 45 minutes. We were playing the Nations Cup finals. First 10 minutes, we scored two goals. Brother, be coming down. Huh? Be coming down. And then when we go in in the second half, oh, blood of God, our money did. They forgot all those plenty, plenty grammar. Our money, we not go let them carry and go back. A four now, you take four. Who does you, Jasper? They know now. <laughs> God brought them. They know how far. Well, let's come back to <laughs> let's come back to this this part of it. Uh, Edith Alawo for my says, Elekwete TV, they give football authorities heat to uh, your love for Nigerian football and the business cycle is undeniable. Bros, now they my money day. My money day there. So these people, they, they take my money, they play. They take my children. They are playing with my children's future and I will not allow them. Okay? Uh, Lord Mayor say, I see Alonso winning the league and uh, German Cup only. I feel they will miss out of the Europa. Okay, that's you. That's you. That's you. Did you love Marcy? Uh, friends in Nigerians be like which? Be careful. That is why SME businesses in Nigeria will continue to struggle with this winch attitude. Uh, uh, bedrock of growing economy is the partnership business. I don't only really, I did you say that there is a slim chance for Arsenal to win. However, I don't see them winning. They lack the mentality and teams they'd be playing are in are in to draw blood. Okay, I don't know what you mean by that, but this team have lost only one game this year. You say they lack the mentality. You could you why not you look at it from the angle that the teams around them have also been very good because again the form that Arsenal have shown this season, any other season, they should be top of the league and be winning it. Okay, but it's just a man city and Liverpool have refused to, to drop. Okay, they've also been in great form. So it's not say it depends on the mindset and level of understanding of the friends. Some friends do business together. I'm talking in general term, I'm talking. A larger scale. Yes, I agree that some friends do business together, but on a general scale, there are more people are more likely to go drink than to say let's do business together. Addition of my say, I want my Copama to win the golden boot. Uh, that would be magical. The boy deserves it. I love that boy. I think he deserves it if he gets it. But if he doesn't get it, he also not have a problem. Lord Mayor Copama can win the golden boot for sure, though he is my choice. Addition of my say. Win FA Cup with Poch. Uh -huh. Let them surprise me. Online can say, Elegbete, as a Liverpool fan, club came when Liverpool FC were down to bare bones. Ninth position on the league took him 
uh, some time to build, believe, and momentum, and ultimately made us a competitive force again. I think I love that word. Lord Mayor said, Chelsea, eh? uh, go get motivation. Go face City for FA Cup. Okay. I beg. Uh, Teach them Ogbori. <laughs> like I say, Pep ultimately was his nemesis. Without Pep, Klopp may have uh, had two or three more EPL title to show for all his efforts in Europe. Klopp was also eliminated by Madrid uh, teams in UCL. Yes, in that final in KL, I was uh, I was the host of standard chartered uh, Champions League finals in Ikui, and I remember telling them. When they wanted me to come host that, and I said, This thing when I want my host, so it's not good though, because when I go lose, when I, when our customers go verse Liverpool, no go feed beat Real Madrid in the final. Madrid doesn't lose final, but yeah, everybody was everybody was pumped up. Hey, come on, don't, don't worry, Liverpool is different. Blah, blah, blah. I said, I go beat to now, now Madrid. You want to stop Madrid, make sure they don't get to the finals. They're not here when they finish. Ah, thank God, they pay my money in full up front to that money. I for not get them more. Uh, addition of Master Chelsea for life, Super Eagles for life, Bender Lisharas for life, Ayas for life, Bayern for life. Hey, oh, Bayern, oh, Bayern. Uh, AC Milan for life, okay. Addition of Master, wow. Happy birthday to big man, okay. Uh, double delight. Kai, I like better. You know, you don't understand. Double delight. <laughs> we not only carry people daughters go there. We, after all those guests where they said for double delight, they became our, our disciples. We're bad, oh. ah, one, one good thing is also the bad thing is making money pretty early as a young kid. Jesus, yeah, lose canon. <laughs> when poverty show you where you can make money, uh, the first the first couple of years that you are lose canon, you will do the impossible. Yeah, me down. I say, Uncle E, you are very right. I sabi people where they use Mr. Beast, Tom Big Mama. Uh, Tom baby mama to today. I'm telling you, it's, just, it's funny now that I'm saying it, but it's the truth. This is, I'm not telling you another person that's similar to what I read. I'm just telling you simple things that, like, when I look at this, like, ah, Jesus Christ. So, man, we really slept with all these girls because this, this, like, these things are not a big deal. These are things that your papa supposed to do for you. Your family, your big brother supposed to do for you. But somebody has, yeah, and you not see them eating voraciously, getting excited about Mr. Biggs. That do not, but back in the day, that Mr. Biggs don't know, not be here, that meat fire, not be here. Hey, even Emu, Emu, Emu breaking. Some of you don't know what to be Emu breaking. I don't understand. Somebody is calling my phone. This is like the 21 time on this show. If you call somebody personal pick, you're not going to calm down. Well, let's leave it like that, shall uh, Yami Dama say, where is Mr. Biggs today? Don't go. <laughs> Do you see any chance for Arsenal at the UCL at all? Okay. Yeah, I, don't, I don't think that Bayern is that good. Even in the first leg, I don't think that Bayern is that good. But again, the Arsenal players, I think something have given. If it was that early time that they came out of Dubai, maybe they would have. But I just think that the return of Zincheco and Gabriel Jesus have distorted the rhythm of the team. And it has not put the team back. If they can come up again and do something here, if they really stand up to it, I don't think Bayern is fantastic. Knocking at Bayern would not surprise me if Arsenal does it. And it's the best time. If this Bayern team knocks Arsenal out, then Arsenal is done for, for a very long time. Because there's no better time to beat Bayern than now. And, I mean, not being able to beat this Bayern would shock me because I think that Arsenal have got a team. I forgot all this talk about mentality or not. I think they've got a team and their mental strength is good. I look at Arsenal and it's like, this team is good, but they just need to really put it. Or like I say, uh, club gave us Mane, Feminio, and Salah, uh, Triumvirate, uh, one of uh, the best trio in Europe uh, for three plus years. I agree with you. Uh, Lord Mayor say, boss, our coach issue, uh, NFF, no get solution to him. Make them give the right person the job. What's up with Jose Mourinho link to Super Eagles? That's never going to happen. Uh, age. A-G-E says, uh, hello, bros. People should know there is a difference between a fan and a supporter. Uh, a Latin G-man, I say, boss, are you still in touch with your former coach, Sinclair, or any of the former... Yes, of course. Yes, 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 of course. I just spoke... Even my chairman, we spoke, like, long. We spoke, and the man... Hi, Jesus like, I've never had that kind of experience where a man like that would be crying to a small boy like me. Like, I've never had that kind of experience. It's so surreal. So re like, I'm like, really? Like, this guy, like, he bears out, out to me. Lord Mayor says that Dorothy is doing well in Roma. 
they are a force in Europa Cup. Okay, I don't want to you say quick one. Who is your Premier League player of the season? Mm. Mm. Yeah, so this is going to be a bit controversial, but I'm walking the fine line between a fine line between folding Cole Palmer and Declan Rice. Those are the guys that for me. Uh, Ferdinand can say NS Okonkwo was from my village, but nobody for my village, Sabiam. Wow. He know the show face for village at all. That's not good. Yemi yeah, Danaba say Cole Palmer, Declan Rice, and Fodi. Wow. Did you repeat what I said or you've written it before? Because for me, that's that's it. And uh, we've come to the end of the show tonight. And that's one thing that I think we should change. Not being able to go to your village, running away from your village. I think that you should be a star West, first of all, for your people. But again, there are some times where your people just don't accept you. There's nothing you can do. There's nothing. You can't force it. You just have to be yourself. Well, it's one hour on the show already. And uh, we both spoke the same. Kopama declared right unfolding. Come on. And you're really my blood, though. Right? So, thank you very much, everybody, for being on the show today. I'm sure you guys have had fun. And if you do, please kindly help us invite your friends to subscribe. Okay? I'm going to give you one trick now that you guys should learn. When you walk up to your friends, take their phone, check uh, what's it called, YouTube, and subscribe. But then when you subscribe, don't just subscribe for them not to be aware. Turn on the notification button and tell them what you enjoy on this show and why they should always be on the show and also be on the channel. I think it's time for us to step it up. This is our community. This is time for us to step it up and grow the number very well so that we can also be doing some things. We could convert this into, you know, helping people fulfill their dreams. So most times when people send me all these letters of, oh, I need to do these exams, some are fake, but some does look real. I, I think I've gotten to the place now where we should be able to support them, but unfortunately, we don't have that numbers. We don't have the growth uh, frequency that will make it happen, but please, guys, help us. Late comma, Raji, stubborn boy, Jagoda Moshud. You say, we had your take on Coach Olumide of Beyond Limit been just speak just speak english i don't i don't understand just speak english but anyhow guys my name is ida femati so gonna you love to come in the level on us first well if you can be the, the solution please don't be the problem and don't stand in the way of those who are fixing it again if you have children please expose them pretty early teach them everything that you know right now and even the things that you don't know and the things that you wish you know that's very very important but beyond all of that Expose your children to tech, investment, what's the difference between an asset and a liability. The meaning, not just the word. We sometimes know the words, but we don't know the meaning. Expose them to it so that they don't wait till they are 50 before they start looking for assets. They can start pretty early. It's very, very important. The world we're living in, and I've always been like that, is that those who have would hold the neck of those who don't have and take them to the slaughter slab. You don't want your children to be that. You don't want somebody to take off your children's pants and bra or convert your daughter to baby mama because of Mr. Biggs or whatever restaurant or supermarket that will come. I remember in Lekki when Sh ShopRite just first opened. I was still living in Ikoi at the time. You don't want to know. ShopRite, oh, ShopRite, just ShopRite. <laughs> God of heaven. You don't want to know. But any hasha. It is being a great day. Uh, let's the best team win in the Champions League tonight. As uh, the return leg, this is the one where you get knocked out and then you start planning for next year. Definitely of this four team, Barcelona, Paris Saint-Germain, Dortmund, Atletico Madrid, two are going out and two are going to the semifinals. Uh, tomorrow we'll talk about them. And then tomorrow teams that will play, uh, Asna, Bayern Munich, Austin Asna, Man City, Austin Real Madrid. We'll see that again. But anyhow... Uh, have a wonderful day and be the very best of who God created you to be. Everyone say, bros, now make it do not these days, who, whatever it is, have for yourself a wonderful day. And also don't forget to teach your children about drugs. There's a drug epidemic going on. You see all these people that are dispatch riders, they are the network that carry the drug all about. Teach your children about drugs. Teach your children about not taking anything from people 
they don't trust, especially all these oh, sleepover, all these we're going for the, the, the pajamas party, we're going for sleepover, we're going for pool party, we're going for Airbnb party. Teach your children uh, because the things that are going down in this Gen Z. Oh, and if you're doing any business, make sure you hire one or two Gen Z. You're not hiring them because you just want to waste money. The information that Gen Z's will give you, I swear to God, there's not a university in this world that will give you those information. I'm just, I'm just telling you this for free. Uh, you, you will thank me later. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.